Good evening. Do you listen to me? Do you listen to me, Henry? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. That's okay. Okay, welcome. We're going to wait a couple of seconds while the others join. Are you still at work, Henry? Aún está en el trabajo, Henry? Yes, it's in my work. Okay, let me see some people. All of them. Melvin Eduardo, Jose Adán, Catherine. Okay, they are joining right now. Welcome everyone. Okay, good evening. Thank you for being here. Remember to activate your cameras, okay? Because it is a requisite from Insafort, Ms. Jocelyn, thank you so much. Uh, Victor Manuel, thank you for activating your camera. Melvin, I appreciate that you activate your camera. Uh, let's expect that Catherine and Henry later on, they are going to activate their cameras and Jose Adan. Palacios, okay, welcome. So class, we are going to get started because we only have one hour, yes, for the class. And let's see. Solamente tenemos una hora para la clase, por lo tanto, vamos a iniciar ya. Mientras los demás compañeros se unen. Um, les pregunto, chicos, ¿han trabajado en la plataforma? ¿No han tenido tiempo aún de trabajar en la plataforma? No, ahorita no. Nadie. No ok, great, excelente. No. Si llegarán a tener algún problema con los ejercicios, me envían un mensaje vía WhatsApp, ¿de acuerdo? Para ver si lo resolvemos, ¿sí? Entonces, por eso me interesa que, que a medida que ustedes vayan eh, trabajando, si está en mí, en mí el, el poderles ayudar, pues con gusto lo hago. Y si es algún problema que tiene que ayudarnos la la administración, entonces le toman un screenshot al problema que encuentran y yo lo voy a compartir, ¿de acuerdo? Con la administración para que nos ayuden a resolverlo. Ok, so here we go, because we're going to have a short feedback. Vamos a tener un repaso cortito de lo que vimos ayer, ¿sí? Y luego ingresamos ya, comenzamos con, um, con nuestro tema de este día. So here we go, all of you are really welcome to this uh, class. And let's get started. Hey, Eliseo, Claudia, welcome. Abel is joining right now. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Le voy a compartir mi pantalla. Okay. Veamos, ya se unieron al grupo de WhatsApp. Porque ahí no, no veo muchos nombres, ¿verdad? Solo números. Entonces, por eso la pregunta. ¿Sí? ¿Se unieron ya? Tienen que unirse, acá está y tienen ustedes la invitación, ¿verdad? Recuerden que es el medio de comunicación entre el, la administración, ustedes y yo, ¿ok? So, yes, you have not done it, please, please do it, ¿ok? Por favor, lo hacen. So here we get started with the, uh, with the feedback. Vamos a iniciar con el repaso de lo que vimos ayer. In session one, if you remember, this was the objective, and one of you helped me to read. Y uno de ustedes me ayudó a leer. So the uh, objective for session one was, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. If you remember, guys, I told you yesterday that often has two pronunciations and both are correct. Often, often okay there is no problem but usually in america and canada we listen often in british english we listen often so there is no problem both are correct and now about homeworks and evaluations this was a reminder recuerden que um, Es necesario obtener el 80%, ya ustedes lo saben, en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran, ya sabemos, en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase porque 
uh, para que vayan eh, al día y si pueden adelantar, pues háganlo. ¿Por qué? Porque si encuentran alguna dificultad, ya sea que no les acepta la respuesta, hace falta alguna palabra eh, o se ha movido la respuesta, ¿verdad? Entonces eh, me lo hacen saber y yo me comunico con la administración para que nos ayuden, ¿de acuerdo? Bueno, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completados antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado en esta form semanalmente. El material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital, es decir, vía WhatsApp. ¿Okay? Si tienen alguna pregunta, me avisan. So, para esta semana, secciones 1 y 2 deben estar completas, ¿sí? En la plataforma. I appreciate that. En here, las normas de convivencia, recordándoles el botón en silencio, uh, la lista de asistencia según el programa, recuerden la plataforma automáticamente toma nuestra asistencia desde el segundo que ingresamos. Eh, se les pide nombre completo, eh, ¿verdad? nombres y apellidos, cámara encendida, participación activa, el uso de chat, por, eh, cuando hay que comunicarnos, ¿verdad? Y levantar la mano siempre eh, para participar porque a veces no, 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 cuando estoy presentando pantalla completa no lo logro visualizar, pero acá sí me avisa, me envían una notificación que sí, quienes eh, que desean participar. Y siempre mantener el respeto hacia los demás, ¿verdad? Y el ambiente de cordialidad. ¿Ok? Vean, todo con cámara encendida. En here, la asistencia al 80% de las clases, dijimos ayer, el avance y desarrollo de la plataforma de aprendizaje se va visualizando semanalmente. Iniciamos ayer 16 de julio y vamos a terminar el 11 de agosto, después de vacaciones, en los horarios establecidos, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a tener la cámara encendida y la duración de la clase es de 60 minutos, una hora reloj. Debemos trabajar ejercicios, los ejercicios con la plataforma de la clase y van a obtener su diploma. As easy like that, tan fácil como eso. Eh, ayer se recuerdan ustedes de la conversación. Vimos un video, ¿verdad? Y ustedes lo leyeron, eh, lo escucharon varias veces y lo practicaron en los breakout rooms en equipo, ¿sí? ¿Recuerdan eso? Yes, ¿Sí? ya yeah, teacher. Correct. Now is session two. I need a volunteer to help me reading the objective for today, uh, session two. Can we get you there in English? El objetivo de la sesión dos. Only one volunteer, please. Me va a ayudar. Somebody, only one. Only want to read this session number two objective, okay? Volunteer, Jose Adan, are you going to? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask an adverb question using adverbs of frequency. Excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So your partner read the goal for today is that by the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Vamos a construir preguntas. Vamos a hacer preguntas a los compañeros y vamos a contestar utilizando los adverbios de frecuencia. In some books, you are going to find them as frequency words or frequency adverbs, ¿ok? En algunos libros los van a encontrar como frequency words y en otros como frequency adverbs, but they are the same. And here you have it in Spanish in order to avoid any misunderstanding, okay? So right now, um, we're going to work in the platform. Vamos a trabajar en la plataforma, chicos. And here we go, ¿ok? Let's see. Okay, we're going to we're going to watch because this is the basis for today's class. Okay, as a feedback, we're going to watch this video again. So I need you to pay close attention because today is the follow up. Hoy es el seguimiento al tema. Uh, I hardly ever exercise. 
y a la conversación. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share my full screen with you. Hello, we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond to how often you do a particular activity. So if you notice in there, uh, the speaker told you about the follow-up uh, sobre el seguimiento que vamos a tener ahora en la clase, okay? as a second part. Por lo tanto, era necesario que escucháramos el video, ¿sí? Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to okay, refresh. So we can go over here. Okay, this one. Grammar focus. Okay, this is, um, but this should be, yeah, this one. Adverse of frequency. Adverse of frequency. The grammar focus. Ahora vamos a ver la parte gramatical. Yeah. And if you have any question after the video, you ask me, okay? Activity. Ay, what happened? Hmm. Ah, let's wait. Okay, here. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often? Okay, I need you to listen, but if you want to take a screenshot, feel free to do it, okay? How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest, or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Bueno. <clears throat> Here. Okay. We're going to watch another one. Good evening. Welcome. I'm great. Everybody's great. We're waiting for you. Hey, good evening. 
Good evening, everyone. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. You the homework, okay? That's what we are going to do okay. right now. So let's see, good um, evening. We have more people now. We are 15 right now. So let me share my screen right now. Okay, hold it because there is something okay, is here that is not supposed to be here, right? So it was like, oh my God, yeah. This is not, this is the one. Meeting everyone and I was, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> or somebody from the administration and you were like, like me and I was looking for the one who was speaking. That was funny, right? Another class. So listen, guys, and actually we had a little feedback in the, in the class yesterday, right? But I was like astonished because he was mentioning the, the homework via WhatsApp. And I asked you and I said, maybe there's another another chat where you sent the, the homework. Okay, that was funny. But anyways, here we go. Listen, guys, uh, right now I'm going to share with you uh, the next situation, okay? And if you noticed uh, in the video, okay, you have uh, some uh, frequency <clears throat> words or frequency adverbs, but we have always means always forever and ever okay a hundred percent of the frequency that you do an activity for example if i say i always teach a class at 8 p.m it means that every day it is my routine always hundred percent usually is a ninety percent if i say i usually um have a class or I usually uh, teach a class at 7 p.m. It means that not every day. Generally is 80%. Often or often is 70%. Sometimes 50%. Occasionally 30%. Seldom 15%. Hardly ever and seldom many times are uh, used as the 10% or they are used as synonyms. Rarely, rarely 5% and never 0%. If you notice, I have here seldom twice. Si se fijan, acá tengo seldom dos veces. ¿Por qué? Les explico. Ustedes van a encontrar muchas clasificaciones de las frequency words o frequency adverbs, ¿ok? En algunos casos van a encontrar seldom y en otros van a encontrar hardly ever. Pero como ellos, si usted, dependiendo del grammarian, del especialista, ¿verdad? Que ha hecho la clasificación, usted puede no encontrar generally, pero va a encontrar often, usually. En algunas ocasiones no va a encontrar occasionally. Pero lo que sí, miren, los tres que mantiene su porcentaje, always 100%, sometimes 50%, and never 0%. En todas las clasificaciones, esos tres uh, adverbios de frecuencia se van a mantener y con ese porcentaje. Luego, eh, 
en los diferentes libros o en las diferentes gramáticas, dependiendo del autor, hay variaciones. Si usted, uh, if you Google it, va a encontrar pirámides con clasificaciones uh, diferentes. Algunos se lo van a tener tres, cuatro o cinco, pero um, acaban viendo ustedes. Entonces, en la conversación, si se recuerdan, I hardly ever exercise. Quiere decir que yo casi nunca hago ejercicio. 10%, yes, 10%. Y rarely es menos que hardly ever or seldom. Quiere decir 5%. Este está más próximo a nunca. ¿Sí? Entonces, tenemos esta clasificación cuando nos preguntan how often do you y nos mencionan la actividad de acuerdo a la frecuencia con la que realizamos esa actividad. Así vamos a contestar. ¿Sí? Si se fijaron en el video de ahora, antes que nos interrumpiera el otro video, ¿verdad? Um, hablaban que sometimes es un caso especial porque la speaker del video les comentaba que sometimes puede ir en la misma posición que van todos los adverbios, pero también puede ir al principio o puede ir al final. Eso no sucede con todos los adverbios, ¿sí? Ok, preguntas hasta el momento. No hay preguntas. No. Ok, ¿tomaron ya el screenshot de esta información? Yes. Ok, great. 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 Porque ahora vamos a practicar. Ok, how often do you exercise? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Esta es una de las preguntas que aparecía en el video de esta noche, ¿verdad? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? How often do you do any sports activity? How often, con, cre con qué frecuencia, qué tan a menudo realizas estas actividades? For example, how often do you exercise? In my case, I uh, exercise three or four times a week. Okay, that is my reality. That is my case. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Mm, yes, I sometimes watch TV in the evening. That is my reality. In the evening, sometimes, not always. How often do you do any sports activity? Mm, I sometimes... I sometimes do any sports, uh, uh, or you mentioned the, the activity, right? You mentioned the sport activity, you may say, I sometimes uh, practice uh, soccer or I practice soccer once a week, yeah? How often do you play soccer? How often do you study? I always study or I study every day. How often do you swim? How often do you play video games? How often do you eat pizza? Okay. Aparte de los adverbios de frecuencia que anteriormente les mencioné, si se recuerdan, voy a compartir acá, en el video les explicaba lo siguiente. Estos son otras frequency words. Okay. You may say every day. Okay. You may say once a day, una vez al día. Once a week. Once a week, yes? Once a month, una vez al mes. Uh, once a year, una vez al año, sí? Every day. Cuando vean que me hace falta alguna letrita, me dicen, por favor, ¿okay? porque, o que va de más alguna letra, porque el teclado alguna vez, por estar acá, nos confundimos. So we have every day, todos los días. Once a day, una vez al día. Once a week, una vez a la semana. Once a month, una vez al mes. Once a year, una vez al año. Pero había otro. Uh, twice, twice. Twice a day, twice a day, dos veces al día. If I ask you, how often do you drink coffee? You may say, I drink coffee uh, once a day, una vez al día. 
or I drink coffee twice a day, dos veces al día, or I drink coffee every day. Pero ahí es más amplio porque todos los días, pero no sé cuántas veces, ¿sí? Okay, and then twice, dos veces, ¿ya? Twice a day, and we can say also, dos veces, eh, dos veces a la semana, ¿cómo lo diríamos? Dos veces a la semana, chicos. Twice. Twice a week. Excellent. Very well. Eh, dos veces al mes. O dos veces al mes o cada 15 días. Okay, twice. Twice a month. Great. Twice a month. Dos veces al año. Twice. Twice a year. A year. Pero fíjense que cambia para decir eh, tres veces. Ya no decimos, uh, miren, mire, a veces, pero muy pocas veces se, se dice eh, strikes, pero no, ¿verdad? Decimos three times. Three, acá ya decimos three times a day. Three times a day. Eh, tres veces a la semana. Three times a week. Yes. And we have also three times uh, months. Yeah, three times a month. Three times a month. Okay. Three, hello. Three times a year. Sí, estamos bien hasta ahí. Um, en los micrófonos lo voy a silenciar porque, ok, por ahí creo que había una interferencia, ¿sí? Entonces tenemos acá, three times a year, three times a month, three times a week, three times a day, twice a year, twice a month, twice a week, twice a day, once a year, once a month, once a week, once a day, every day, okay? Or you may say after every day, every week, every month, every year. Is that okay? Podemos decir cada mes, cada semana, cada año. Así como decimos every day, every month, every week, every year, ¿ya? Yeah? Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? Recuerden, once, twice, Three times. Usualmente esta palabrita once la van a leer y la van a escuchar en los cuentos en inglés, en los cuentos de hadas. Once upon a time, érase una vez, había una vez, ¿ok? So, no questions. Is it clear? ¿Está clara esta situación? Yes, teacher. Yes? Ok, very well. Now, it is time for you to practice. Stop class. I'm going to ask you something, please. Le voy a pedir algo, por favor. Okay? So right now, I need you to take a screenshot of these questions. Why? Because you're going to be asking and answering these questions. You're going to take turns, okay? Y van a, uh, if I ask, for example, let me see. Uh, Jose Adam Palacios, how often do you exercise? I never. I never, okay, I never exercise. Let's try, thank you for your honesty. Listen, let's try to build the full sentence, okay? Para que vayamos viendo donde ubicamos el adverbio. I never exercise, okay, very well. But if, okay, thank you. But if I say, Dennis, how often do you exercise? Dennis Palacios, how often do you exercise? Dennis. Hello, Dennis, your answer. Hi, teacher. Hi, how often do you exercise? Uy. Hold it. It is missing you. How often you how often do you? Okay, it is missing a, a two over here. You have to tell me this. 
Okay, I will appreciate. Hey, no, the other one is the. How, how often do you exercise? Aha, uh -huh, the question is, how often do you exercise? Yes, how often do you? Usually. Okay, I usually exercise, okay? I need you I to ask. Exercise. Excellent, very well. So I need you to try to use the, okay, let's see here. I need you to, to try to use full answers, okay? How often do you exercise? I usually exercise, I never exercise. I sometimes exercise, I hardly ever exercise, okay? Try to use all day, free, or you may say once a week, twice a week, three times a week, yeah? Feel free to choose any of the frequency words or frequency others that, okay, you have here, always depending on the frequency. And if you never, you say never, okay? I never exercise. Is it clear? Tenemos clara la instrucción de la actividad. Yes? Yes. Okay, so you took a screenshot of the questions, yes? Sí, tomaron, okay, muy bien. Para que puedan compartir imagen, o oh, ahí te preguntas porque en realidad van a preguntar y a contestar, okay? So right now we're going to move to the breakout rooms. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Remember to take turns asking and answering because you need to answer according to your reality, okay? So here we go. Okay, join your groups. Please join your groups and begin the activity. Jose Palacios, I need you in group number one. Dennis, I need you in group number two. Abel, please go to group number four. Abel, we need you in group number four. Okay, listen, uh, Abel is going to join you later on, okay? Abel is here, Abel is here. Hay una como interferencia, Adam, con su, con su audio. Sí, le... Okay, no sé, no sé qué pasará aquí con el audio. Uh -huh. Pero bueno, uh, let's begin asking and answering the questions, please. A preguntar y a contestar. ¿Sí? ¿Quién inicia? Recuerden que todos deben contestar con su realidad, ¿ok? Dicho, me debe a un grupo, a una sala. Hola. Usted está acá en la sala, ya está en su equipo, con Henry y con Abel. Acá está Abel y está Henry. Ellos son sus, sus compañeros. ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok, Entonces, ok, muy bien, comiencen a practicar. If you're so nice, please ask and answer the questions. Se hacen las preguntas a cada uno, ¿verdad? Eh, podríamos no, iniciar, José, hace, José Adán hace la pregunta a Henry, Henry contesta, Henry le pregunta a Abel, luego Abel le hace la pregunta a José Adán, ¿sí? Y luego no, seguimos. No, no, no. Sí, pero usted le hace la pregunta uno a Henry. Henry le hace la pregunta uno a Abel y luego Abel le hace la pregunta uno a usted, ¿ok? Y luego la pregunta dos y así. ¿Ya? Ok. Ok, okay bye. Practice and soccer. Eh, ¿Cómo diría? ¿Qué quieren decir? Eh, Baseball, no sé cómo se dice. Baseball, baseball, sí, soccer, soccer, tenis, tenis, basketball, okay. basketball, they are in it. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Oiganme, Jocelyn y Eliseo, ¿quién más estaba con ustedes? 
Adán Palacios, pero se desconectó. Sí, porque eran tres. Bueno, esperemos que él regrese, ¿ok? Bye, continue okay. with the practice. Very well done. Ok. okay. okay. Eh, yo este es un gran ruido oigo no sé si oigan es. como que como que alguien tiene música al fondo parece que alguien tiene música al fondo bueno lo voy a silenciar a todos y voy a ir viendo quién es ¿Eh? Parece que a usted es la que tiene el problemita de, de sonido. Sí, Katherine, Katherine parece que usted tiene problemita de sonido al fondo, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé eh, qué es lo que sucede. ¿Abra el micrófono, Katherine, de nuevo? Ahora, ahora sí. Este, ahora sí, ya se escucha mejor. ¿Sí lo escuchan mejor, chicos? ¿Sí? Hola. Sí, eran los audífonos. Ah, los audífonos. Sí. Ok. Sí. Begin asking and answering. Oigan, si quieren compartir pantalla, pues lo pueden hacer, ¿de acuerdo? Quien esté en alguna computadora para que compartan las preguntas. No, y recuerden, no, no, no están en computer. Ok, oigan. No. La idea es que Melvin le hace la pregunta uno a Dennis, por ejemplo. Luego Dennis le hace la pregunta uno a Katherine y Katherine le pregunta a Melvin, ¿sí? Y luego Melvin comienza de nuevo. Pregunta dos para Dennis. Dennis hace, contesta y le hace la pregunta a Katherine y Katherine le pregunta a Melvin, ¿sí? Para que todos practiquen eh, la pronunciación de las preguntas y las respuestas, ¿ok? Pero las respuestas con su realidad. Using the frequency adverse, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, bye. Se van a ver las preguntas. Así, ah, ah, hola. Yo tengo la captura. Ahora tengo yo. Do you have any sport activity? Ok. How often do you practice any sport activity? And the question goes to Abel Antonio. The question goes to, ¿para quién va la pregunta? Mientras los tres estamos respondiendo, teacher. Pero es que es oral. Oral. Ah, sí. Ok. Ajá, oral, porque luego la va, vamos, a, vamos a escribirla. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay. Bye, Victor. How often, how often do you any expert activity? Victor, how often do you practice any sport activity? How often do you practice any sport activity? Question number one. Number mm one. -hmm. Como, ¿Con qué frecuencia practica alguna actividad deportiva? Eh, I, I never, I I never practice. practice sports activities. Uh -huh. Ok, very well done. Congratulations. Now you, Victor, ask the question to Claudia. Sí, siempre la number la one. No, number one, yes. Y luego Claudia le hace esa pregunta a Abel Antonio. Claudia, ¿cómo haces tu ejercicio? ¿Cómo haces tu ejercicio? ¿Cómo haces Ajá. Es la pregunta uno que todos tienen que contestar oralmente, ¿verdad? Y yes. luego van con la pregunta dos y luego la pregunta tres hasta que lleguen a la pregunta ocho, ¿de acuerdo? Yes.
Veamos, les explico. Uh -huh. I, I always, never, sometimes, usually, hardly, I, ever. hardly ever. Ok, practice sports activities. ¿Ya? Yeah? And now you, Claudia, ask the question to Abel Antonio. Repeat the question, Claudia. Vaya, mire, hola, les voy a compartir la, la imagen de las preguntas para que le tome un screenshot, ¿ok, Claudia? Ok. Evening. 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 Uh -huh. Yo le preguntaría a Abel. Ok, Miss Claudia, ask the question. Abel, get ready with the answer for number two. Ya le pregunto. No, ella le ha preguntado a usted, do you ever watch TV in the evening? ¿Ves televisión? ¿Alguna vez ves televisión? ¿O ves televisión en la noche? In the evening. I hardly ever watch TV in the evening. Excellent. Congratulations. Very well done. Okay. Now Thank you, you ask the question to Victor. Hágale esa misma pregunta a Victor. Okay. Victor, uh, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Uh, I watch TV usually in the evening. I usually watch TV in the evening, okay? I usually watch TV in the evening. Now you ask the question to Claudia. Ahora, Victor le hace la pregunta a Claudia. Claudia, yes. uh, do you ever watch TV in, in the evening? I... I usually watch TV. In the evening. Congratulations. Very well. Now you continue with the next question. Y ahora Claudia continúa. Le hace la siguiente pregunta a Abel. Contesta a Abel. Le pregunta a Víctor. Víctor contesta y la misma pregunta hacia Claudia. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, see you. Hello. Okay. Hello. Este, vamos a practicar con Denny, entonces porque se acaba de conectar. Ah, okay. Great. Dennis, how often do you exercise? Do any sport activity? So, so yeah, how often do you any sport? Como, me está hablando como. Uh, ¿Qué tan a menudo hace una actividad deportiva? Uh, eh, eh, do you. Eh, eh, I, I study four times a week. I study four times a week. And you, Harry? How often do you study? Um, um, I am study four times a week. 
Por time. Lo único, Henry, Henry, lo único que cuando contestamos no decimos I am study, solo dice I study, porque si no irían los verbos juntos, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. I study four times a week. Excellent. Very well. Continue, please. Okay. Uh, I study English every day at 8 p.m. Okay, you said every day. So it means that a José Adán no me va a faltar a clase porque va a estar every day at 8 p.m. Porque ya dijo que estudia todos los días a las 8 de la noche. Yes. Yeah. Y quedó grabado. <laughs> ok. <laughs> It is your commitment. <laughs> El compromiso de cada uno. Ok, great. Continue. 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 Or did you finish the questions? Ya hicieron todas las preguntas. Eh, falta todavía. Eh, vaya. Ok. Eh, a ver, hot of hot, eh, hot of ten, do you swing? Swing. How often do you what? Swing. Swim. Swim. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I never I never swim because I I don't like swim. I don't like to swim. I don't like to swim. I don't like to swim. Okay. This life. And you, Henry? Why? And you, Henry? Why? I never swim. I I cannot. <laughs> I never swim because I can't swim. Yeah, I don't know how to swim. No sé cómo nadar. So I better never try. Nunca lo intento. Yes. It's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> okay, that's great. Continue, guys. I really, really. Go how often do you swim? Hi, Dennis. How yes. often do you visit the beach? Ah, the beach. Uh, Trump and Mom, maybe? Um, maybe. Okay, you can answer me. I visit the beach once a month. Okay, Denise. How often do you do you eat hamburger? Hamburger. I like hamburger. Um, maybe once a month and okay. vacation. Okay. Uh, how often do you work? Four days a week. Only four days a week. Solo cuatro días. Wow. No, Cuatro really días de descanso. Days. Bueno, en mi caso. No, pero que no son cinco días laborales. Pues. Yes, or five days. Five days. Me, four days. Only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Son, Friday, no. Son, este, como podría decir, es, rotativos. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Okay, that is why. Okay, continue. And I have a question. Jocelyn Gabriela, how often do you drink coffee? I drink coffee three times a day, every day. Okay, to be active. Yes? 
Yes. Excellent. Okay, continue. I think that in a couple of seconds, we're going to get back, okay? Okay. Congratulations on your practice group. Very well done. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, are we? Kind of finished. Ya casi termina, chicos. Yes, uh, lo último. Yes. Okay, great. Titi, how often do you eat pizza? Pizza. Pizza. Pizza de pizza with. No like. Twice. Pizza. Twice. Yes, twice, twice a week. Okay, great. Twice a week. I like it. <laughs> I... Okay. Uh, well, how, how often do you eat pizza? Uh, I, I eat pizza three, three times a month. And you, Adam? How often do you eat pizza? I don't eat pizza. It hurts me. Seriously? Yes. ¿Cómo se dice hace daño? Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. ajá. It curses you. It curses me. It curses me. Okay, class. Let's get back to the main session room, okay? So we can have a uh, general practice. But one thing before we leave the breakout rooms, I need you to think about one original question. Necesito que piensen en una pregunta original. How often do you? Porque se la van a hacer algún compañero o compañera de todo el grupo. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? Okay. Okay. Acuerdo. Comiencen a pensar en esa pregunta. Thank you for coming back. Hello. Hey, class. Listen, I need you to think about one original question. You seen how often do you and you think about the activity because you are going to ask that question to one of your classes. Porque esa pregunta que ustedes se la van a hacer a los compañeros y compañeras. Okay. And let's see. Okay. But let me see if everyone is back. Henry and Melvin are still in their way. Okay, so try to speak. I begin. Okay. Yo comienzo. Tienen que pensar todos en una pregunta que inicia con how often do you? Utilizando cualquier verbo. Y la persona tiene que contestar con su realidad. No, I start. And I'm going to ask you. Porque luego usted le hace la pregunta a un compañero. Ok, so here. José Adán Palacios. How often do you eat pacayas? Ah, look at his face. How I often do you eat pacayas? I, I don't like. I knew the answer. Ya sabía la respuesta. Ok, now you ask the question. Choose your victim. Um, my question for comfort. Okay. Yes, but you have to say, oh, oh. my question goes to, mi pregunta es para, my question goes to, y oh. hace la pregunta, okay? Dice el nombre de la persona. For example, my question goes to Catherine, my, my question goes to Jocelyn, or the name of the classmate. My question goes to, okay? My question goes to, uh, How okay. often do you visit the doctor? The doctor sometimes in... What? She said sometimes. I visit the doctor sometimes. Recuerden que sometimes puede ir después del pronombre personal en medio o al inicio o al final. Okay, now Jocelyn, you ask your question to another classmate. 
The question goes to. My question goes to is for Eliseo. Eliseo, how often do you do read books? Well, I read the book twice in a week. I read books twice a week. Okay, very well. Now, Eliseo, you. you ask your question. Okay, uh, Abel Herrera. Okay, are you there? Okay. Uh, how often do you watch a movie? Uh, I watch movie three three times a day. Excellent. Continue with your question, Abel. Okay. My question goes to Claudia Sarco. Miss Claudia. How, how often go to the beach? How often do you go to the beach? How often do you I, go to the beach? I hardly ever go to the beach. Excellent. Now, Miss Claudia, ask your question. My question goes to Catherine. Catherine, where are you? How often, how often do you swim? Uh, I don't, ah, uh, Catherine, how often do you swim? Claudia asked. I never swim. Okay, great. Now, Catherine, ask your question. Um, Dennis, uh, Dennis Palacio. How often do you dance? 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 How often do you dance? Never. <laughs> Always or dance. never? You never dance. Never. Uh, okay, thank you. Now, I Dennis, have... you ask the question to another well, classmate. Dennis, ask the question. Dennis, haga la pregunta. How often uh, is uh, Abel? Abel Antonio, okay. How often <laughs> do, you, do you visit the beach? How often do you visit? Do you visit the what? Beach. The beach, the yes. Beach. Okay. Yes. Abel, your answer is? Uh, I, I want a uh, amount. Once a month. Visit the place. Once a month. Okay, great. Abel, your question. My question go to Melvin Eduardo. Melvin, where are you? How okay. often do you do you study? I always study English. Okay, great, excellent, amazing, always. Now my question is, how often do you get up early? How often do you get up early? I usually get up early. Excellent, Eliseo. Dennis, how often do you get up early? Dennis, how often? How, how often do you get up early? How often? Do you get up early? ¿A qué horas, eh, ¿Con qué frecuencia te levantas temprano? Never. Oh, uh, always. Always, okay. Oh. I always, I always get up early, okay? 
I always get up early. Very well. Okay, class, unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye. I hope that tomorrow you're going to join to the class at eight and you're going to have more practice, okay? And we're going to uh, feedback with the structure of the answers and the sentences. Today, it was only speaking, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you very much. It's time to say goodbye, unfortunately. Okay, Bye. have a good night. Remember to work in the platform. Recuerden trabajar en la plataforma, de acuerdo, poquito a poquito. Remember, practice makes perfect, okay? Great, okay. it was a pleasure to be with you. Sweet dreams, bye-bye, have a good night. Take care, see you tomorrow. Bye, 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 class. Take care, see you later, tomorrow. Bye-bye, thank you for joining. Bye, Denise.